guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today's video, in all honesty, is super awkward for me to make. I never thought I would talk about my weight on the internet. Um, but as you guys may know, about six months ago, five and a half months ago, my husband and I went vegan overnight after watching Gary Yorosky's famous speech. And yeah, six months later, I can't believe how much it has actually changed my life. And I feel like my story may help some of you out there watching this. So that is why I am doing this, even though I'm not that comfortable showing you guys the pictures I'm gonna show you and all this kind of stuff. But if I can help somebody out there who's struggling, then that's why I'm making this video. I guess let's start at the beginning. So growing up, I was always a super skinny kid, never had like obesity really in my family or I was never overweight growing up. I was always pretty skinny through high school, through college. Um, when I started to put on some weight was after I got married, like a lot of couples, or not married, I would say after I was in a serious relationship um, with my now husband, um, about a year in, we both started to put on substantial amounts of weight um, we met in Switzerland and we moved to the United States together and that is when things started to kind of go downhill. We started going through a lot of drive throughs eating a lot of junk food and we no longer were getting like any exercise. Um, we met in Switzerland where we were walking all the time and our life was just a bit more balanced um, than in the U.S. where all of a sudden we had cars and drive throughs and walking was no longer really something that we did very often. So um, I have some pictures here. This is when, you know, we were engaged super happy but super unhealthy and we were both very self-conscious about our weight all the time and yeah it was just not good we were always thinking we need to lose weight we need to work out we need to eat healthier we need to diet we need to try things we need to restrict our calories and um yeah i would go up and down sometimes i felt really good about my weight but most of the times um, i felt like i had some pounds to lose i was the typical person who always felt like they could lose an extra 10 or 15 pounds. And as a person who was always very thin when I was younger, you know, when Matias and I first met, I was, I was very thin. Um, this was very frustrating um, because I thought I couldn't really do anything about it other than work out all the time. Um, but I've never been the person who really enjoys working out. So I always just felt um, kind of stuck, like, I don't know, like wanting to lose weight but not being motivated enough to work out. And um, there was just never a good solution for either of us. Even my husband's super thin guy. He started to put on weight as well and he just was feeling super self-conscious and I could see that in him and he could see that in me and it just wasn't good. And of course we knew if we eat healthy and exercise that we will lose weight and be healthy and it will be a good decision, but we never had the motivation in us to do it and that is why going vegan has been so important because um, it gives you a reason bigger than just your own personal health and your own personal life um, going vegan you can improve the planet and you can save a gazillion of animals that get killed every year so we can eat them even though they make us sick and overweight so we didn't go vegan for the weight loss um, it was certainly something I was hoping was true what everybody was talking about um, but we definitely went vegan for the ethics um, after I saw some of the stuff that I saw on the internet I no longer could consider myself a reasonable person if I would continue to take part in the animal product industry and yeah just after I saw what I saw I just couldn't partake in that at all it was an easy decision overnight for both my husband and for me and I have here a picture from the day one um, on our vegan journey um, yeah this even isn't me at my highest weight um, yeah, this was me actually feeling somewhat okay about my weight, which is funny now because um, I'll show you the after picture in a second and it's quite a dramatic difference. But yeah, this before picture is not the worst that I have. Trust me, I couldn't even take a picture at the worst um, point, but this is right before we went vegan. Um, so yeah, it's quite surprising for me to look at. And after six months of being vegan, this is what I look like now. So quite a big difference. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and say I lost all this weight without exercising. I am not proud of that. I wish I exercised more, um, but I do still struggle in that department. However, we do live a act more active type of lifestyle than we did of all those pictures that I showed you when we were living in the U.S. So now we do walk everywhere. You know, we go upstairs, we walk a good number of miles every single day. Um, we live a little bit more um, active type of lifestyle, but working out, unfortunately, we haven't been able to get into our um, daily routine yet, um, but we are getting really serious about it now, and I hope 
that in six more months I will have another picture after six months of working out included. But unfortunately, all that I can show you is from dietary changes. This is not from working out because we unfortunately haven't been working out like I just said. So I actually can't tell you the number of pounds that I've lost over these six months because I have not been weighing myself. Again, was not my motivation for going vegan at all. And I wouldn't even consider us super healthy vegans. We eat potato chips all the time, mashed potatoes, <laughs> french fries, candy. I mean, we do eat that a lot more than we should. But we do incorporate way more fruits and vegetables, obviously, into our diet than I ever have in my entire life. And I think the main thing that made me lose all the weight was just the unhealthiness, high calorie of these animal products that I used to eat um, has been not an option anymore. So that is really helping. And the most amazing thing is when I walk, you know, through the streets of Berlin and I see these hot dog stands and these pizza stands, those are things that used to crave me so much and I would just want it. And now I'm like, I don't even want it. And I'm so grateful that I'm vegan and that I have a bigger reason not to eat those types of things other than just, I know it's bad for me, I shouldn't, but let me do it anyways. It's just not an option at all. Since we went vegan, we haven't had a relapse or anything like that, definitely not. I do not even crave that kind of food anymore because I just picture what I've seen on the internet when I see that food. And yeah, I just don't see it as food anymore. When I go in the grocery store, see the animal, products, the dairy, the meat, to me this is actually not food anymore in my brain and I can't believe that that change happened to me um, because I was such a chicken nugget cheese <laughs> person. Um, but it feels amazing to eat better and it's improving my health a lot. Um, yeah. My husband and I have so much energy, way more than ever before. We used to have to drink so much caffeine and Red Bull to get through the day and we haven't had caffeine in a very long time now. Well, we might have an occasional treat like a Coke once a month or something like that, but not three Red Bulls a day like we used to, which is amazing. My husband also used to suffer from debilitating digestive and stomach issues. Every time he would eat, he would have horrible cramping and have to be in the bathroom for many hours. Um, I don't know, maybe not many hours, but it felt like it to me like he always had to leave um, every time we went to dinner or we were at you know family things or whatever. Um, and that has been completely cured, which we never were able to cure before. We took him to the doctor, got him tested for all sorts of things. You know, he tried cutting out dairy, that didn't work. He tried chicken, that didn't work. He tried cutting out red meat, that didn't work. But since going vegan six months ago, he has not suffered from these digestive issues anymore, which is really improving his quality of life and our relationship as well. And as for me, um, other than increased energy and weight loss, I just feel like happier. I feel good. I feel good every day that I'm making good decisions with what I'm eating. It's allowing me to just, I don't know, or not allowing me, it, it is making me be a more intentional human being and thinking about things before I eat them, obviously, and just being more aware of my impact on other lives, you know, animal lives. And I just feel really good at night knowing that I'm not contributing to anything that's destroying my health, the environment, or animals' lives. Oh yeah, even though I can't tell you um, how many pounds I have lost, I can tell you that before I went vegan, I was a big size 10 in pants. So a US size 10 pants was pretty snug um, six months ago. And at this point, the pants I'm wearing right now, I believe are size six and they are way too loose and I'm ready to go down a size again. So I don't know how much that is in pounds, but I have lost a good amount of inches off my waist, thighs, legs, I would say pretty much everywhere. And I feel really good about that. It feels good to be back to a size that I actually see myself in my head because sometimes you get to that point in your life in your head you're one size and you look in the mirror you're another size and you just can't really comprehend it. So I feel like I'm more at a weight where I feel like myself and I feel like I look like I feel, I don't know. Anyways you guys, this video is not to preach or anything like that. Um, I am not one of those channels, I hope you can see that. But I just know a lot of you might be struggling with your weight and dieting and all those things and I can tell you it's not going to work, it's not going to be long term sustainable, but if you go vegan you do not have to watch your calories or calorie restrict. You can eat all the yummy vegan whole plant foods that you want and not have to worry about gaining weight and this is a fantastic benefit of the lifestyle for me personally because I cannot diet and cut calories. It's just it does not work for me. I tried it many times, um, definitely not long-term sustainable, and I love being vegan because, I don't know, so many reasons, <laughs> but a main thing also is that you don't have to watch what you're eating so much, you know? You can enjoy all the wholesome plant foods that you want, you know? 
And again, I'm probably talking too much. I'm not a vegan expert at all. I wouldn't even consider myself the healthiest vegan. I need to incorporate more vegetables, more whole foods, and more exercise into my diet and lifestyle, which is my goal going forward. Now that I've lost the good chunk of weight, I have more energy and I wanna work out. It's actually weird for the first time in my life. I feel like I wanna move and do things with my body. I feel like I don't wanna just be sedentary, I have this increased energy and I wanna, I wanna put it somewhere. I wanna, I wanna move, I wanna work out. Um, so I just have to find a workout that suits me and I'm, I'm looking forward to um, being a healthier vegan um, in the next six months. So I will check in with you guys probably in six months because I don't wanna talk about this all the time on my channel, but um, hopefully it made some sense to some of you, helped some of you out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye! And until next time guys, don't forget every single day you have the opportunity to take your dreams and put them into actions. So work hard, be kind, make it happen.